To keep your Kubota RTV XG850 Sidekick operating at its maximum potential, regularly scheduled maintenance is crucial. Changing the oil and filter on your Sidekick is easy to do. Precautions regarding personal protection should be followed as described in your operator's manual. Your local Kubota dealer will have the correct oil and filter. You'll need both to complete this task. You'll need an oil filter wrench, a selection of hand tools, and a drain pan. Shop towels will also be helpful. Warm the engine for a few minutes prior to draining the oil, but be careful not to burn yourself. Begin by parking the vehicle on a level surface. Then raise the cargo bed and mount the safety support. Of course, be sure to turn the engine off, then remove the rear skid plate. To drain the used oil, remove the drain plug turning in a counterclockwise direction using the correct sized wrench. Completely drain the oil into a drain pan. Be sure to place the pan accordingly. Once all of the oil is completely drained, reinstall the drain plug. Be careful not to over tighten it. Once the oil has been drained, first lift both the driver and passenger seats and remove the tool bin. Remove the oil filter using the oil filter wrench if necessary counterclockwise to remove it. Clean the metal surface on the engine. Wet the O-ring on the new filter with a thin film of clean new engine oil. Then install the new filter, turning clockwise. Once the filter contacts the base, turn an additional half turn by hand. Finally, fill the engine with new oil. Be sure not to overfill as this could cause engine damage. Refer to the operator's manual for the correct type and quantity of oil. It's a good practice to run the engine for a minute or so after filling and then check for leaks and shut it off and double check the oil level and correct the level as necessary. While you're in the area, it's a good idea to check the transmission fluid level. The transmission is the orange dipstick located behind the engine. Remove the dipstick, clean it with a clean rag or towel then fully insert the dipstick and then remove it to read the level. Make sure the fluid level is within the normal operating range. If it is low, add the proper amount of fluid and check for leaks. If you see any leaks or if the fluid level is too high, contact your local Kubota dealer for service. On the Sidekick, the first oil change is due at 20 hours. After that, it should be done every 100 hours and every 100 hours after that. Be sure to consult the manual for all of the maintenance intervals. It's also important to check the oil level prior to each use. Thanks for watching.